This video is in response to a post from William Porter. We've been corresponding recently and this is quite an interesting one that comes up a fair bit. It's about adding records when you're adding from a form on a page and it refreshing the underlying records. This isn't what William is doing, but just to illustrate, so I have a uh, table here and we have uh, different categories, so different locations. So this view here is a page showing records connected to Newbury. This page is showing records connected to Marlborough Drove Veterinary Hospital. And this one is showing records connected to Marlborough Riverside. So in the builder, we have a menu and each link takes you to a separate page. So we have Newbury and this is the table and the table is filtered on the data source to show only vets that are Newbury. So it splits up these uh, into separate pages. The issue that William's having is he's got a form here which adds a new record. So if I add Marlborough and currently I'm on the Newbury page, when I submit the record, the record shows at the bottom of this table, even though this is actually the Newbury page, it's showing Marlborough. But if I either refreshed my page or simply clicked on Newbury again, it will refresh the page and filter it back out and it moves into the correct, uh, the correct place. So this is a bit of a quirk with adding records from within the form. When you add it like this, it doesn't automatically uh, refresh the underlying table. So there's a couple of ways around it. So I'm back in the builder and this is the form that adds a new record. So you could uh, go to this in the rules on the submission rules, either change it from just showing a message to redirect into an existing page and then redirect it to the page that you're already on. So if I save that, refresh. So once again, I'm on the Newbury page and if I add a record to Marlborough, the record will submit, page refreshes and filters it out. It takes a little bit longer to do that because it's a page redirect. So there is a, a JavaScript version as well. So if I come back into here and just change my rules back to set this to a uh, confirmation message, just going to save that. So before we do the code, we just need to uh, pick up what view this is. So this form, as it shows at the top here, is view 231. So when view 231 is submitted, we want to uh, refresh view 227. So moving over into the JavaScript, paste the code in. So on submission of view 231, refresh view 227. Save that. Back to the live app and refresh. So once again, I'm on Newbury. If I add one to Marlborough, it submits and then briefly appears and then gets filtered out when the page refreshes. Another option as well is to not use the form uh, embedded in the page and have it linked to a menu. So I'll show you how that works. So if you go back into pages, we're going to add a view, a form, which adds a new record to the pets table. And we just check the box here that says link this form from a menu. And to move that up to the top here. Uh, while I'm here, I will just click on that and uh, note that this is view 235 because I'm going to color the button in a moment. So view 235. Uh, if I click on the link, that will take me to the page. So I'm just going to clean this page up a little bit and just remove, in fact, I'll just remove all these fields and for illustration, just put the uh, vet location and the breed. Save that. Go back into the form and on the rules, the submit rule, I'm going to redirect to parent. That will take me back to my table. And then I'm just going to change the settings and make it a modal pop-up. So back to the live app, done a browser refresh, and I now have a, a button here called add pet pops up as a modal. Um, I will get rid of this in the end uh, in a moment because it already has this as the form. The actual form is called add pet. I don't need a title as well. But if I add a pet to Marlborough and submit, the form resubmits, the page refreshes, and it immediately resets the, uh, the views here. Now, in this situation where you've only got a couple of fields, it, it may make sense just to have the form embedded in the page. 
if there's more fields you want to have normally I would do them on a pop-up it just focuses the user a little bit more um, and makes your page a little bit cleaner so just to remove this uh, title go back into the builder click on the form go into settings and um, remove the title there uh, we've saved that back to the live app and do a refresh now when we add a pet we don't get that extra title so the last thing to do I would just change this to a colored button to make it more obvious so um, I'm going to go back into builder back onto my page because I've forgotten what the uh, number was it's view view 235 so just put this code in here which you can find from uh, my other video about adding colored buttons uh, just change the uh, view number here to 235 and this is the hex code for the color so save that back to my live app do a refresh and we now have a more obvious green button to add a pet so hopefully that gives you a few options, uh, three options to get around that issue. Okay, thanks. See you in the next one.